Finally, it's here. DaVinci Resolve for iPad. Now this is something that I have been waiting for so long. Ever since its announcement with the M2 iPad, I know this is something that I have to get my hands on. Now since I travel and make films, so I have to do the editing on the go. And for that I have been using Premiere Pro for a very long time. And trust me, there are so many problems with that. And now since DaVinci Resolve for iPad is out, so I really want to give it a try. I'm using this 12.9 inch iPad Pro, which has the latest M2 chip. And this one is 256 gigs and Wi-Fi only variant. Now let's talk about DaVinci Resolve. So it's out right now and you can download it from the App Store. So just go to the App Store and you can search for DaVinci Resolve iPad. Or you can also click the link in the description below. And after that you can see that we have the DaVinci Resolve for iPad. It's 2 gigs in size so you can download it over Wi-Fi. And now there are so many different features that are inside it. So let me just quickly go through some of the details. So over here you can see that it says this one is optimized for M1 and M2 chips and earlier models will have some limited functionality. So there might be some features that are available only on M1 or M2 and might not be available on the older versions. And right now you can see there are only two pages, the cut page and the color editing one. I hope in future they will add more pages to this so we can have more control on the app. And for now these two will make up the most and this is something that you will be using a lot. So over here you can see we have different screenshots of the app. And now let's open it up and see how it looks. So this is the interface and if you are coming from the desktop version so you will be familiar with most of these icons and what these do. Since I have never used DaVinci Resolve so I have no idea how this works but since I am coming from a video editing background so I can re easily understand what most of these options will do just by having a glance at them. Now this is free but there is a studio version which is paid and it has some extra functionality which you can check out from the link in the description if you want to read more about it. So over here we have our editing tab and if you go over here this is the color tab. If you have some video footages you can color grade them. So now I will get my hands on to this and I will learn how to use this. And if this is something that you are interested in then let me know in the comments below. I will make some tutorials on how to do the editing using this DaVinci Resolve on iPad. So make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss it. And for video editing on iPad I will highly recommend to get a wireless keyboard and a mouse. And for this setup I will be using the Logitech K480 which is a wireless keyboard. It's decent one and cheap as well. And for the mouse I will be using the MX Master 3 which I also use on my desktop. So it's a very nice mouse. Rest it's completely up to you. You can use whatever device you want. So that's it for this video. And if you have any queries or questions then you can ask in the comments below. So with that being said my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.